All right, hello, we're, this, we're the Bioscrew project team and we have been tasked with making a silicon carbide screw. Silicon carbide is a biocompatible and bioactive material. This material has been used in many biological applications but has yet to make an impact in orthopedic surgeries. The goal for the Bioscrew project was to develop an effective manufacturing process for producing silicon carbide screws. The two primary manufacturing techniques that were conceptualized and tested were powder metallurgy and additive manufacturing. It was found that powder metallurgy was effective in creating non-threaded cylinders, but threading was a challenge due to the hard and abrasive nature of silicon carbide. Additive manufacturing was done by 3D printing using, using powder bed binder jetting technique. Additive manufacturing was found to be successful in printing threaded cylinder prototypes. In order to use uh, silicon carbide, we had to do surface activation. And this was done through chemical modification, which enabled the surface activation of silicon carbide upon treatment with 20% sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide attacks the silicon and carbide bond to create an SiOH silanol groups around the active sites like the grain boundaries and the pores. During dehydration or dehydroxylation, these SiOH bonds would form an inorganic polymer chain of SiOSI called silazane bridge, which enhances the strength of the green body at the room temperature. Upon sintering, SiO forms crystalline SiO2 nanowires that bonds, <coughs> that bonds the SiC particles through fusion also fills the pores, thereby reducing the overall porosity. The first method tested was powder metallurgy. In powder metallurgy, silicon carbide particles of an average size of 40 micrometers were chemically modified using an alkaline solution of varying concentrations and were compacted in a hydraulic press at 250, 150 megapascals for 15 minutes. Samples of dimensions 10 millimeters in diameter and 17 millimeters in height were obtained. These samples were centered at 900 degrees Celsius for two hours. The batch of samples obtained from the centering were unable to be lathed due to the enhanced density and strength of silicon carbide. Another batch was prepared the same way as mentioned in steps one and two, which were centered at a temperature of 650 degrees Celsius. These samples were porous and comparatively lower in strength, which enabled better machinability of these in the lathe machine, but still experienced fracture. Abrasiveness of silicon carbide was still a challenge and it was damaging the lathe tool, which was made of hardened steel and which has a lower hardness than silicon carbide of seven to eight on the Mohs hardness scale. The second, tested, the second method tested in the project was 3D printing. The silicon carbide particles used had an average particle size of 40 micrometers and were surface activated with alkaline solution, dried and loaded into a feedstock. The digital image of the screw was designed in using Creo 3D software. The digital image was converted to a 3D part by printing the powders in layers of 0.2 micrometers with the help of an aqueous binder. After printing the part, the part sat for 25, 24 hours inside the build bed. The part was then heat treated to 650 degrees Celsius to create an amorphous silica which provided a handling strength. The excess powders from the part were then cleaned and the part was centered at 90 degrees Celsius at one degree Celsius per minute for two hours using the Thermaline benchtops furnace. 